Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain static error constants. Steady state error analysis can be done using static error constants. One should know steady state error depends on types of input signals as well as it depends on types of system. So steady state error that depends on types of input signal that input signal can be impulse signal, step signal, ramp signal or parabola signal and one should know steady state error that also depends on types of system that system type could be type 0, type 1 or type 2. Analysis of steady state error that can be done using static error constants. Basically there are three types of static error constants, positional error constant, velocity error constant and acceleration error constant. First of all, I'll discuss about equations of these three constants. See positional error constant that is denoted by Kp and that can be calculated by limit s tends to 0, g of s, h of s. Velocity error constant that is denoted by Kv and it could be calculated by limit s tends to 0, s into g of s h of s and acceleration error constant that is k a and that can be calculated by limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s h of s here this g of s that is open loop transfer function of the system and this h of s that is feedback gain so here we can analyze steady state error using this static error constants. In future coming videos, I will explain calculation of steady state error for different types of input signal with different types of system where we will analyze steady state error using this static error constants. So you will have to remember these equations. These equations are very essential. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is static error constants. Thank you so much for watching this video.